Whatever you do, don't look behind you. Run! Welcome back to our next indie horror game. The Malevolent Mansion of Evil. Officer Thompson had been working for the police department for over 10 years. He had solved murders, thefts, and every other crime in his city. But there was one case that had always stuck with him. The case of the missing people. For the past few years, many homeless and children of immigrants had been disappearing from the city without a trace. There were no leads, no clues, nothing. It was as if they had vanished into thin air. The entire department was working on the case, but they were getting nowhere. His investigation has so far been unsuccessful. Although he is suspicious of a large old mansion, he has been denied by higher authorities every time he's applied for a permit to search there. Officials have told him that it belongs to a former CENTCOM general called Asher McKenzie and that his activities are coordinated with higher officials and you should not enter that mansion under any circumstances. Until one night, he receives a disconnected and unintelligible call. After being intercepted, he realizes that it was released from somewhere inside the mansion. So he becomes determined to enter the mansion even at the cost of ignoring the orders of the higher authorities. All right. Uh, okay, here we go. Oh, shotgun right off the bat. I like it. And a fucking submachine gun and a handgun. Man, this guy went in here armed to the teeth. He gets one phone call that he can't understand, and he's going in here like fucking Rambo. All right. I like it. We're gonna blame his absolute lack of stamina on the fucking armory that he's carrying. Alright, let's... That's in there. Oh, we got a key. path down that way. Can't go that way, so I guess we're going down here. Alright. Oh, shit. Well, it looks like we were right to bring all these guns. Jesus Christ. Oh, shit. What the fuck? <laughs> My God, it's a mutant murloc. Ugh. Totally should have gave those things murloc sound effects. Oh!
Well, I wanted to shoot the door down. I hear werewolves howling somewhere. Need the key. Alright. Probably this way. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. What the fuck is that? Hey, those look like werewolves. How about that? Here, doggy, doggy, doggy. Oh, we can just shoot them through the glass. Okay. Well. There's another one over there. What? Oh shit. There's one in the ass. Just for hitting me. There we go. Hey, we looped around right next to the gate. Awesome. more. Died. <laughs> oh, all right. Old school Resident Evil style door opening. I like it.
Hey, they refilled my ammo between sections. Holy shit! What in the fuck? That is horrifying. Key card. Key cards are always good. Oh, I guess we need four key cards. I'm guessing that one lit up when we picked up the first one. So there's three more somewhere. Okay, so where are the other... Oh, okay. I see it. Corpses, anti gravity break dancing. Huh. All right. Tell me why that one took five shotgun shells to kill. All right, that should be all of the key cards. Yeah, there we go. Yes! Badass hero music. I like it. Oh, new weapon. We didn't have enough guns already. Please give me another one. empty. Are you... They didn't react at first. And that one hardly did at all. Blue key card. Now, where do I put that at?
nothing in there. I don't I don't understand. There's I assumed this door being bathed in blue light meant it was the blue keycard door, but apparently it's not. Alright. Oh no, here we go. Need the red key card. Alright. Hey, it's the red key card. Where do I put it? the big ugly coming here this definitely looks like a room built for a big ugly totally expected a big ugly right now yup there he is oh shit we got human enemies now Thank you. I will take all of your guns, please. These things are gonna start breaking out of their tanks at some point. Oh, hey, more humans. Oh, shit. He's still in his tank. Oh, shit. Oh, here he comes. After destroying the enemies, Officer Thompson goes to the hostage holding room, frees them, and takes them out of the lab. <laughs> Alright. I actually enjoyed that. You know, the, the story is basically non-existent, but how much of a story do you need with a game like that? Take your big guns, shoot the monsters, shut the fuck up. That's That's... That game needed a story the way porno movies need a story, you know? Because however paper thin it is, there has to be some reason 
why the ridiculously hot chick and her, you know, ridiculously hot friends called the cable guy because the cable broke and the cable guy shows up at the door with nothing but a tool belt on. You know, that's as far as the story needs to go. The guy wearing nothing but a tool belt is there because the cable broke. You know? And then, I, and then he fixed the cable. I'm just kidding. The cable had nothing to do with anything. Anyway, I liked it. I like it. You know? Shoot a bunch of creepy monsters. Have a good time. No story required. Officer Thompson is a large gun, loving, badass hero motherfucker. He killed all the monsters and saved the day. Woohoo! Alright. <laughs> Good stuff. Good stuff. So that was the Malevolent Mansion of Evil. You want to shoot some fucked up monsters, be the hero, and save all the defenseless scientists or whoever the fuck it was? The link for that is in the description. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next game.